Hi everyone, I hope y'all are doing well. And again, I wanna encourage my fellow brothers and sisters in Christ, especially those who are going through intrusive, fearful thoughts at this time, and maybe even OCD kind of tendencies because of these fearful thoughts. I wanna make this video because I know that so many people struggle with this and it makes their life agonizing at times. You know, and the word of God gives us a straightforward answer. Because when these fearful thoughts come and these thoughts that we don't want come into our minds and we start ruminating, it can get very confusing. We don't know what to do. And we have all these different kinds of solutions and the world may give, you, give us this kind of direction. But let me just give you what the word of God says to just take this on head on and defeat it. It's from Ephesians chapter 6, verse 16. In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. As Neil Anderson says, if you're thinking of thoughts that you don't want to think of, they're not from you. And so when these thoughts come and you recognize that they're causing you fear and they're causing you to be in agony and you don't want to think about them, realize they're not your thoughts. They're from the enemy. They are the flaming arrows of the evil one. And so knowing this fact sometimes wins you the entire battle, but at least half the battle. And so at times when I struggled with intense, fearful thoughts, realizing this truth actually lifted me out of the entire battle. And so when these thoughts come, I believe one of the best ways to use the shield of faith is to turn away from these thoughts. Recognize that this fearful thought is not from me, it's from the enemy, so I will not devote or give any of my time, emotions, or attention to it and turn away from it. And I believe when you turn away and ignore these thoughts, you're not being irresponsible, but you're exercising childlike faith. Because what the enemy does with these fearful thoughts is that he wants you to engage. It's like a fishing lure. He makes it look like you need to get it curious. You feel like you have to nibble at it. And when he gets you, you start falling into fear. And so that's the trick. And the way to overcome that and the way to put that shield of faith up against those arrows is to turn away with childlike faith and say, nope, I don't need to argue with you. I don't even need to have a discussion on why I don't have to be afraid. I will simply block you out. I will ignore you and turn to God's word if I need to. At a certain point, you might not even need to do that and just know that I'm okay because Jesus is with me and all his promises are true. But at first, it's helpful if you turn to specific passages, promises of God, as you turn away from these thoughts. And when you leave those thoughts and ignore them, you're exercising childlike faith because you're not trying to figure it out yourself, but you're trusting God with it. Very simple, straightforward way to overcome these fears and thoughts that maybe cause OCD, maybe cause insomnia, or a lot of you know anxiety, all these kind of things. By doing this, by putting up the shield of faith, by ignoring these thoughts, and with childlike faith, just turning to Jesus, you can overcome these tactics, as I'll put it, putting the shield of faith and doing all this will extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one, all of them. And so I don't want you to suffer any more than you have already suffered. And so follow the word of God on this. Even though you feel like you need to engage, you need to worry, just stop. Surrender everything to God and trust in his word. Put everything in his hands and just believe in God's promises. And whatever promise is appropriate for your situation, you can find by searching the scriptures. And use Google if you need to, a search engine. You know, type in verses that you're looking for to overcome certain things. There is everything we need in the word of God. So I just wanted to make this quick instructional, encouraging message for those who are struggling with this. May God bless you and continue the good fight. And as you do, you will grow and be more like Jesus if you just keep trusting in him. God bless you.